Okay, already 9 a.m. Dr. Aso, you may stop the meeting. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chief Engineer, Mr. Tunggul Laksono. Hello, welcome everybody to the dental session of Asia Pacific Advanced Network 52. And we wish you a very good morning. I'm Aksa Suhada from Airlangga University, and I have been involved to organize this session since 2016. It means five years ago. As usual, the dental session is a meeting that discuss updated dental science, dental cases in Asia. Today, we will discuss about orofacial cleft surgeries in Indonesia and Japan. This meeting will be moderated by Dr. Yoshi Yuanita. She is an oral and maxillofacial surgeon from Hasanuddin University in Makassar. And before we start the meeting, I would like to introduce our speakers, our committee, and our participants. I will start with uh, our chairperson, Dr. Yoshi Yuanita. Please introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, hope everyone is here in a very good shape and health. My name is Yossi Wanita. You can call me Yossi. I am oral maxillofacial surgeon. I am a lecturer from Hassanuddin University, and I'm been, I have already become a part of uh, APAN since this March 2021. Thank you very much, Dr. Aksa. Yes, thank you, Dr. Yossi. The next. Uh, I will invite uh, the, direct, the director of Dental Hospital of Airlangga University, Professor Kun Pramono. Please say hello to everybody, Prof Kun. Hello, good morning, everybody. Okay, thank you. The next, I will introduce the Dean of Dental Faculty of Hasanuddin oh, University, Hasanu. Dr. Muhammad Ruslin. Please uh, say hello to everybody, Dr. Rosalind. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hope uh, all of all of us is already uh, fine and safe, healthy, and safe health in this situation. And please enjoy this apan. And we hope this our topic is very interesting today, and we can discuss with some of our speakers, uh, excellent speakers, and uh, please enjoy. Thank you very much for everybody. Good morning. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Muhammad Ruslin. The, the next, I will uh, invite uh, the head of Department right, of Oral right, and Maxillofacial Surgery, University of Sumatra Utara, Dr. Olivia Hanifa. Dr. Olivia, please in introduce yourself to the audience. Hello everybody, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, selamat pagi, uh, I'm from uh, University of Sumatra Utara, uh, uh, we will enjoy, uh, we will hear the lecture from our uh, speaker with a uh, resident from periodontia, prostodontia, and orthodontia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Olivia. The next, I will invite Dr. Muhammad Ghazali as a speaker. Please say hello to everybody, Dr. Ghazali. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, everybody. Assalamualaikum. Uh, I'm a lecturer from the Hassan University. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ghazali. The next, I will invite Dr. Dwi Ariawan. Dr. Dwi from Universitas Indonesia. Please, Dr. Dwi, introduce yourself to everybody here. Thank you, Dr. Aksam. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, dear colleagues and friends. I am Dwi Aryawan. I'm a lecturer from University of Indonesia. I want to thank uh, the IPAN organizing committee for uh, inviting us for this wonderful event. It's very really honor, honor for us. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. The next, I will invite Dr. Sihuta Jiri, uh, a doctor from Kyushu University. Dr. Sihuta Jiri, please say hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I am Sihuta Jiri, a dentist in Kyushu University Hospital. I will participate this session as a discussant. 
Mr. Misiatsu will participate, uh, make a presentation. After. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tajiri. The next, I will invite our engineers, our chief engineer, Mr. Tungulaksono from Brawija University. Hello, everyone. Uh, say hello. That, uh, I'm from Tunggul Raksono. I'm the, from Brawija University. I'm here as a chief engineer of ID Indonesian telemedicine team that uh, we are not only support the dental, but we also support all other doctor specialists in Indonesia in this IPAN community. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Tunggul Raksono. The next, I will invite our co-engineers from Indonesian Telemedicine, uh, Mr. Agung Laksono from University of Sumatra Utara. Please introduce yourself, Mr. Agung. Thank you, Dr. Laksono. Good morning, everyone. I'm Agung Laksana from University of Sumatra Utara, the host uh, Chief Engineering Tunggu Laksono. Thank you. Thank you very much, very, very much Mr. Anggul, uh, Mr. Agung Laksono. The last one, I will invite the engineer from TEMDEC, Dr. Sintar Ueda. Please, Dr. Ueda, please introduce yourself to everybody. Hello, everyone. I'm Shintaro from Kyushu University Hospital, TEMDEC. And it's always a priv privilege to support this dental session. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everybody. Now, I will give the, the, the meeting uh, for our chairperson, Dr. Yoshi Anita, and I wish you a very nice meeting. Dr. Yoshi Anita, the time is yours. Thank you very much, Dr. Asa. Good morning once again, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And I hope every one of you here in a very good shape, in a very good condition, despite all of the, despite the global pandemic situation that happened in our country. And uh, for today, virtual and also an international webinar. This is a, the dental session that uh, held two times a year and by utilize the technology in the field of dental and oral health. And this time is focusing on the oral and maxillofacial surgery. And the last time actually we have a discussions about how to conduct the education in uh, dental health during the pandemic at several educational institutions in Indonesia, the, uh, the, APEN, the 51st APEN on dental session uh, happened on March 2021. And for this time, we try to uh, discuss, we try to, uh, uh, we try to uh, have another uh, point of view, another, uh, uh, another topic to discuss that also really important that happened in our country, even though through the pandemic situation, we, we still have to discuss about this problem, this matter, because it's not gonna go, it's not going to go away uh, during this situation. So today uh, we are going to uh, have a discussions and presentation from all the experts from several institution and we are going to talk about the recent updates of orofacial cleft surgeries in Indonesia and also in, the, in and also in Japan and our speakers for today has already been uh, uh, been introduced by Dr. Aksa first is Dr. Takeshi Mitsuyasu DDS PhD from uh, Kyuzo University that going to present the bilateral cleft lip repair, the modified fissure technique. And there's also Professor R. Ankun Pramono, uh, specialist on oral and maxillofacial surgery, a consultant from Arlanga University that going to present about the charity activity faculty of dental medicine, dental hospital Arlanga University to serve cleft lip and plate in Indonesia. And also there's uh, Dr. Muhammad Ghazali Mars, specialist on oral and maxillofacial surgery consultant from Hassan University that going to present the cleft palate repair and speech management in Sulawesi, Indonesia. And also there's Dr. Dwi Aryawan Mars, uh, specialist in oral and maxillofacial surgery from uh, University of Indonesia that going to present the cleft lip repair with nasal floor reconstruction. And for the brief timeline, for all the experts will be presented their uh, presentation 
for about 15 minutes for each. And the discussion will be uh, conducted at the end of uh, all presentation for about 20 to 30 minutes. For the first presentation will be delivered by uh, Dr. Gigi Muhammad Ghazali, Mars, specialist on OMX facial surgery, a consultant. Uh, I'm going to read a brief uh, introductions of uh, Dr. Ghazali, uh, graduated on Doctor of Dental Surgery from Faculty of Dentistry at Sydney University in 1988, as an oral facial surgeon from Faculty of Dentistry Pajajaran University in 2001. He worked as a lecturer at uh, Faculty of Dentistry Hassan University since 2019. He, is also, he was also an oral and maxillofacial surgeon at Undata Regional Public Hospital uh, in uh, Palu since two, from 2002 to 2019. He is a surgeon's partner of Smile Train at Mother and Child Hospital City Masita Palu and also a surgery team at Celebes Club Center Makassar. Um, Dr. Ghazali also has uh, experience on seminar and workshop, of course, uh, through our topic today in cleft lip and palate. One, uh, some of the uh, seminar and workshop was uh, the sixth international workshop on surgical techniques in cleft lip and palate in Changgeng Memorial Hospital, Taiwan, 2010. The eighth World Cleft Congress of International Cleft Lip and Palate Foundation in Hanoi, Vietnam in 2013, the uh, 13 International Cleft Congress 2017 in Chennai, India, and also uh, the 9th ASEAN Pacific Cleft Lip Palate and Craniofacial Congress and 12th Annual Meeting of Thai Cleft in Kong Khan, Thailand. Uh, Dr. Ghazali will deliver a presentation about cleft palate repair and speech management in Sulawesi, Indonesia. Dr. Ghazali, Dr. Ghazali, can you uh, hear me? Okay. Okay, please, hear. the time is yours, Dr. Okay, Ghazali. Please, the time is yours, Dr. Ghazali. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you for the AOC and all the participants today, I want to uh, present it. I want to describe about the, how our uh, program about a cleft in uh, Sulawesi regions. Uh, and now in this session, and then before I want to thanks to Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry of Sanudin for this time, and uh, Dr. Tajir as a, a director of the uh, Dental Hospital Hassan University. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today I want to start uh, my presentation uh, about the cleft palate repair and speech management in Sulawesi, Indonesia. Okay, uh, sorry, can you see my slide? Can you see? Yes, doctor, I can see your slide. Please continue. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, just an uh, introduction about the CLEF. Maybe uh, all of you know the, in the world, uh, the case of the CLEF lip and pellet severance uh, egg uh, per, uh, uh, in the worldwide, uh, uh, 10 uh, hundred birds in, uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, in the world and the Asian is uh, less than in, for example, in Japan is bit right with the 2.1 and uh, 100 birds. And is or the Caucasian less than one for 1.9 and the African is more less, okay. And in Indonesia, I want to describe about the Indonesian basic health research in 2018. It saw the national prevalence about the 0.12%. And 
how about our program CLEF in Sulawesi? We start from the uh, 2000 and uh, we start from 2000 and uh, eight, you know, it's not 18, it from eight, yeah, it's then uh, five years, 50 years ago. Uh, we prepare in uh, 12 hospital and we after do surgery less than uh, a thousand and uh, three hundred and fifty eight surgery and in in our, in our program in uh, mother and child hospital city masita clef program in Sulawesi Tengah uh, or Central of Celebes. And next uh, in Celebes Clef Center Makassar, and uh, it's uh, since uh, 2018, we are after surgery less than uh, uh, five, uh, 587 surgery. Uh, all of the the uh, majority of our surgery is the primary and uh, primary operation about the lip nose and uh, cleft palate repair. And just uh, maybe you know uh, just uh, theoretical about the timing of the cleft lip repair. Uh, Summerland at all the reports uh, success about the primary pellet repair in time of lip repair in three months and uh, definite pellet repair at uh, uh, six months. And Kishner at all failed to find different uh, find any different pits outcome in patient repair uh, at uh, three to seven months and uh, more of seven months of its and uh, according to the American Cleft Palate Clearing Facial Association, currently recommended uh, cleft palate repair by uh, 18 months and many advocate repair be done before uh, one year. And the other, uh, she performed cleft palate repair at 10 until uh, 12 months and priority to uh, speed development, but the significant speech development and in just uh, the theoretical but uh, when you know the basic principle of palatoplasty uh, we uh, a three principle uh, about the tension free when we close the defect and uh, that's the multi-layer closure uh, nasal and uh, oral floor and then repositioning the, of the velar muscle is maybe the important about about the to the speech uh, patient with the cleft lip and palate and the next uh, how about the full of double opposing z plastic is uh, it's, it's essential component of the of uh, for low double opposing z plastics include the uh, oral base and a uh, nasal base of course and muscle are that designed as a z plastic flap one side and the fat configuration and the underlying uh, side uh, and that's the principal transposition is palatal muscle are elevated as a part of the posterior flap based on its uh, by the z plastic and then the nasal uh, z plastic is made as mirror image of the lining of the oral cavity yeah and we have the lateral relaxing incision it's made to reduce uh, flap uh, tensions and the lateral c position the next uh, it's uh, according to the Chiang at TN Allen DC. Uh, repair of the cleft pellets refer to the restored uh, separation between the oral and nasal cavity. Yeah. 
must be separate, uh, separate the between and the nasal and oral cavity. And, and the next, we creating a functional pharyngeal and mechanism of the feeding speeds and uh, functional of the estuation tube. And the next, we the uh, minimize the repair impact of the growth of the maxillary. And this serves to facilitate oral feeding. And the goal is that we want to have a, how a better uh, speech and to verbal communication. Is the advantage on this uh, method? Maybe lightening the pellet without the use of tissue from the hard pellet because uh, the precision dissection of the uh, muscle and uh, transposition of the muscle, especially the muscle of the uh, levator veli palatini and tensor veli palatini. And the incidence rates, fistula is supposed to be lower compared to the procedures and the, especially the, the pharyngeal incompetence is also reported to be less than uh, other methods. Uh, you can see this uh, algorithm uh, from the Clefly pellet repair uh, according to the Indonesian National Guideline of Medical Service. And, and this guideline is we start uh, from the one until two months after birth uh, and the, we do the num of uh, lip tapping or all the hot spots, uh, hot spot and the next uh, we can do the feeding assessment and other maybe the endoscopy. And in the three months, uh, we prepare to uh, lip repair and maybe we uh, repair the, uh, right, uh, the nose with the rhinoplasty and the dental molding. And six and until uh, 24, uh, 24 years or uh, two years, until, until two, 24 months, uh, less than two years, uh, we can do the palatoplasty with one state or uh, palatoplasty two state for the heart pellets. And the next three months post palatoplasty, we uh, assessment and governance on the speech, uh, and speech and the lenses. We prepare all the speech and lenses. And and then uh, two years old, uh, we prepare the dental care and dental uh, condition of the tooth. And then uh, three under five years old, we do the speech function evaluation, evaluation and the speech and hearing therapy and examination. Maybe it's by the DENT uh, or IEBRA and tympanometry and then uh, the nasometry uh, with the nasal test palatometry. Okay, uh, today I want to, we have uh, just a example or a, a case presentation about uh, palatoplasty. Uh, male, uh, see years, a, a boy, a young boy, uh, see years uh, with diagnosis with the cleft of pellet and complete, and then, and then with surgery at the March uh, 20. 2020 and the surgery method cleft repair by follow double opposing z plasty. What the problem about this case is that we, the patient come to our center, it's delay time for pellet repair. And then uh, no assessment and speed management at the early time. Because maybe see it's uh, difficult to get a uh, facility, facilities uh, to uh, surgery, surgery facility and uh, the, they don't know about how, why procedure to the speech therapy. Uh, it's the case uh, and uh, palato stitches in complete. And the next we do the with the full double opposing jet passy and the lateral defect. We close with the buccal fat with buccal fat. Maybe it's the controversial, but, but if uh, in our experience, it's better to uh, uh, to get a, a healing about the lateral side. 
as the uh, post of writing day, uh, seven post of writing day, and in uh, ten of uh, operation day. And after month after surgery, we you get uh, a little uh, maybe I don't know if it's I think it's not a fistula, but if not uh, any discharge from the nasal. But in uh, five years after surgery, and in this uh, before we do the patient evaluation, uh, the speech evaluation before we surgery. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not the better the example because it's just made the video made from the parents of the this yeah, boy. Yeah. Siapa? Om Adi. Om Adi di Batui. Om 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 Adi. Om Adi yang mana? Bukan Om Adi. Bukan Om Adi. Om Adi. Om Adi. Ibu berteman. Iya. Oh Om Adi siapa? Om Adi yang di dokter. Iya. Om Adi dokter. Iya. Di Palu. Di Palu mana? Di Palu. Uh, okay, and the patient is the prepare about the uh, therapy of the speech by the locally speech therapist and they get a uh, two month after speech therapy we get the goal like this Arka main layang-layang. Arka main layang-layang. Baik-baik. Arka mandi mandi laut. Laut. Arka mandi laut. Ayo. Mandi laut. Oke. Okay, uh, just uh, the conclusion about this uh, my uh, my presentation is maybe the management of clip 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 and case in Sulawesi is going on since the 2008 with the main program being uh, primary and secondary clip clip pellet management we uh, and since the 2020 has we implement to concept management by based on the national guidelines of uh, clinical for the cleft lip and pellet. Uh, uh, it's adopted by the oral and maxillofacial faculty of the Institution University with the support of the Celebes Cleft Center Foundation seeks to, to become a comprehensive service center for cleft lip and pellets in uh, Sulawesi and Asian of Indonesia. And also uh, not optimally if what to minute speech therapy in patient would have uh, undergone surgery have been carried out as the part of the CLE program in uh, Sulawesi. Okay, maybe just is that I, I, my presentation and thank you for the, your uh, uh, but, uh, for this time. Okay. Thank you very much, thank Dr. You. Ghazali. Thank you for your sharing. Thank you for your sharing. Uh, for those who have a question, uh, we postpone it. <laughs> we postpone to answer it until the end of the presentation session. Uh, now we are moving to our next presenter. Okay, we are moving to our next presenter from University of Indonesia, Dr. Dr. Gigi Dwi Aryawan Mars, specialist in oral and facial surgery consultant. A brief introductions about our speaker. 
uh, born in Samarang, 1975. He, he is now a lecturer in the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Faculty of Dentistry, Universitas Indonesia, and also in Universitas Indonesia Hospital oh, as an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Educational background, graduated from Universitas Indonesia in 2009 as an oral and maxillofacial surgery specialist program, a doctoral program in Faculty of Dentistry, Universitas Indonesia, uh, graduated in 2019, and a consultant in cleft lip and plate from Indonesian College of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons in 2017. Some of uh, seminars, training, and workshop, also courses that already being uh, well followed by our present presenter. Uh, an AO cranio maxillofacial principles course in Jakarta in 2007. And then, um, Okay, clinical training in oral and maxillofacial surgery at the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery in Kagoshima University, Kagoshima, Japan in 2012. And also uh, the AO CMF course advances in temporomandibular joint surgery with anatomical specimens, Hong Kong in 2014. And uh, as a participant of ICOMS 11 in Xi'an, China, 2014, also uh, followed the eighth international workshop in cleft lip and pellet in Taiwan, 2014. And some of publication was a pushback technique, a case report in Journal of International Dental and Medical Research in 2021. Also uh, correlation of basic fibroblast growth factor expression in palatal mucoperistyl tissue with dental arc relationship in operated unilateral cleft lip and palate patient published in Journal of International Dental and Medical Research in 2019. And we still have a lot of uh, publications and also social service activity. But I think uh, if I read everything, uh, it will take a lot of time for uh, introducing. So I will skip up if you don't mind, doctor. And yes. I will just give the lead to you. So please do presentation. The time is yours to Dr. <coughs> Duyariawan. Thank you very much, Dr. Yossi. Uh, I also want to thank the APEN 52 organizing committee for uh, inviting us to this event. Uh, this morning, I will uh, present about cleft lip repair with nasal floor reconstruction. You know that uh, Indonesia is the world's largest island country with about 17,000 islands and more than 270 million people. And with uh, so many people and with so many islands, there are also many rural areas in Indonesia. And we have many cleft patients in Indonesian rural areas. And uh, the problem with uh, uneven distribution of health services is also including the services for cleft patients. Uh, we met also in uh, many rural areas. And uh, the patients, the cleft patients at the rural areas usually have white cleft since they have no numb uh, treatment and a alveolar molding. Uh, Dr. Ghazali have uh, mentioned it before, uh, numb treatment. Uh, in many rural areas, they have no numb treatment, so they usually have white, white cleft. And we, uh, the oral and maxillofacial surgeons in Indonesia, we took the, the responsibility uh, for cleft treatment in uh, many rural areas. We perform many charity missions in uh, all over Indonesia. Uh, we uh, make free cleft surgery, but uh, we also encountered many problems. Uh, we have very limited time, and usually we have no long-term follow-up of the patients. And uh, this 
this could result in complications after cleft charity mission. Uh, I think uh, Professor Kun will uh, discuss about this after uh, after this. And this is a nice article from our colleagues, Dr. Ruslin, Dr. Tajrin, Dr. Ruslin et al. in 2019 about complications of cleft lip and palate surgery in rural areas of Indonesia uh, in archives of plastic surgery. And regarding the complications after white cleft lip repair, there is large fistula in the nasal floor and also uh, we can found depressed nasal floor after lip repair. Since last year, um, our department have changed the technique. Uh, we perform nasal floor reconstruction with the purpose to prevent from fistula development in the nasal floor and also to prevent from depressed nasal floor. I will uh, talk about first the unilateral cleft lip repair. Uh, we perform the lip repair using the Cronin technique. Cronin technique is a modification of Tennyson Randall lip repair with uh, adding one millimeter above the vermilion border uh, of the triangular flap. It, it is to prevent oblique scar at the vermilion border. Uh, that can, so it's very similar, but uh, one millimeter different above the border, above the copied spoke. This is the surgical design, uh, very similar with uh, Tennyson lip repair, but we added uh, one millimeter above the peak of copied spoke. And uh, for the uh, cleft side, we uh, think that the north of point is one of the crucial point, uh, one of the crucial landmark that we have to determine to um, make a design of the triangular flap on the cleft side. And the result will be like this, uh, with one millimeter above, one millimeter above the cupid's bow, above the Fermian border. Uh, uh, it's very similar to Tennyson lip repair. The surgical design uh, for nasal floor reconstruction, we uh, outline the M and L flap uh, on the mucosal flap uh, and also the vestibular flap, including the frenulum on the medial side. We incise the skin and mucosa using a number 11 blade for a precise incision. And we release the orbicularis muscle from the overlying dermis using a number 11 blade and also using blunt scissors. And we preserve the M flap, the medial flap. Then we move to the uh, intraoral uh, part. We incise the vestibular flap, including the frenulum, and we elevate the flap above the periosteum. Then we move to the cleft side. We incise the skin and mucosa using number 11 blade, and we release the orbicularis muscle from the overlying dermis. And we also preserve the L flap. We uh, do not remove the M and L flap. Uh, in the intraoral, we uh, incise the vestibular flap, uh, supra periosteal elevation. So we leave the periosteum still in intact uh, with uh, using a respiratory and blunt scissor. Then we uh, free the lower lateral cartilage. We undermine with between the cartilage and the overlying skin using blunt scissors, blunt uh, Metzenbaum scissors, laterally from the columnar base and medially from the alar base. Then we start the suturing. Uh, we sutured the M and L mucosal flaps transposed across the cleft defect 
followed by the uh, suturing of the vestibular flap across the cleft defect, we use the 5053. Uh, then we suture the vestibular flap to the MNL flap to recreate the inner surface of uh, for nasal floor reconstruction. Then we hope we make a thick uh, soft tissue to prevent from fistula, uh, especially at, uh, on white cleft. Then we suture the orbicularis muscle. Uh, we divide the, uh, the orbicularis muscle into three parts. The upper parts, we uh, suture it overlapping in overlapping fashion. And the middle part, uh, we suture it in interdigitation. And for the uh, pars marginalis, uh, uh, we suture it edge to edge suturing. Then we suture the skin using Prolin 60, or sometimes we use the monocryl 60 if the patient could not come for follow up. Then we uh, make the nasal suture. We uh, suture the interdomal suture and transfection suture on the septal cartilage and also the alar crease transfection suture uh, to uh, recreate a, a nasal nostril shape, uh, but uh, most of the time it's not very symmetrical. Here are some of our patients uh, with Cronin technique. We can see the one millimeter uh, above the Cupid's bow, the Fermin border. Uh, I think uh, it's quite symmetrical on the uh, Cupid's bow, but we are not successful in the nostril shape. Here's another. Uh, I'm sorry, the picture not very clear, but you can see that uh, I think the Cupid's bow is quite symmetrical, but the nostril shape, once again, not very successful. And in our charity mission, we have also met uh, many adult patients, uh, like this female patient, 30 years old, with white cleft lip and palate on the right side. And we perform Cronian technique. Yeah, but not very successful in the nostril shape. Maybe uh, we have to learn from uh, Dr. Tuskin, Dr. Tajrin, Dr. Abul Fauzi to perform the Tajima uh, incision on the nose, rhinoplasty. This is another patient, male, 53 years old, using Cronin technique. And uh, I will move on to bilateral cleft lip repair. For bilateral cleft lip repair, we perform the Nordoff uh, bilateral cleft lip repair. We learn it from uh, our colleague, Dr. Agus Nurwiyat at Pajajaran University and Dr. Tajrin from Hasanuddin University. And we also uh, learn from uh, the presentation and video from uh, Changgeng Cleft Lip and Craniofacial Center. The surgical markings, uh, it's uh, original uh, Nordoff design with uh, uh, pretty narrow uh, prolabium design and we have bilateral Nordoff point on each side. It's a greater challenge compared to the unilateral since uh, many white cleft uh, patients with uh, unit bilateral cleft lip and rip uh, palette with white cleft. And we uh, also make the design in the intraoral part. This is the uh, prolabial mucosal flap. This is the inferior turbinate flap and the lateral mucosal flap to recreate the nasal floor reconstruction. And after the incision uh, and dissection, uh, there are uh, inferior turbinate flap, mucosal flap, uh, the 
uh, lateral mucosal flap and also the prolabial mucosal flap. And the prolabial mucosal flap and the lateral mucosal flaps, P and L mucosal flaps are transposed across the cleft effect and sutured together to recreate the nasal for reconstruction. Then the orbicularis muscle reconstruction. It's uh, nothing. It's nothing different. It's like the same uh, orbicularis reconstruction. And here, uh, one of our patient. Uh, another patient. Well. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Yossi. I think that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Dwi, for your uh, sharing experience and so also knowledge. Uh, the illustrations also very clear. I can imagine uh, the step of the surgery by seeing the illustration. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, you. For those who have a question, uh, once again, I uh, please fill the chat column, whoever who have a question for the a previous presentation and we will answer your questions after all the presentations done and next is there will be a presentation about uh, the charity activity of uh, faculty of dental medicine dental hospital air langa university to serve cleft lip and cleft lip and palate in indonesia that will be delivered by professor rm kun pramono Specialist on oral and maxillofacial uh, surgery, a consultant. A brief introduction of our speaker, born in Surabaya on February 1954. Home institution is in uh, Universitas Erlangga, educational background. A magister, graduate from uh, Universitas Gajah Mada, Yogyakarta in 1984 in specialty of dental health and doctoral uh, from, uh, I'm sorry, specialist from Universitas Gajah Mada, Yogyakarta uh, in uh, specialty in oral and maxillofacial surgery and uh, subspecialist as a consultant from the College of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery in Indonesia in orthogonatic surgery. Some of uh, his uh, publication was uh, the effect of alpha tocopherol supplementation on the expressions of vascular endothelial growth factor on human bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell uh, published in Asian Journal of Microbiology, Biotech, Environment Science on 2018. And then the uh, the human umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cell over plateau rich fibrin, sca fibrin scaffold for mandibular cartilage DEVAC regenerative medicine and also recombinant protein galactin 1 exposure to OM1 cell proliferation. This is an experimental in vitro study published in a journal of international oral health. And he is now a director of Erlanga University Dental Hospital and oh, from 2015 until 2025. He was also the Dean of Faculty of Dental Medicine, Universitas Erlanga from 2010 until 2015. All participants, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Kuhn. Please, the time is yours. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning for everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to thank you.
Kemenku, itu the Organizing Committee, Dr. Aksa Syuada dan Chairperson Yosio Anita Ariastina for very kind invitation in this event. I would like to present our charity activity from the Faculty of Dental Medicine, Dental Hospital and University to serve cleft uh, lip and palate in Indonesia. Our cleft charity program mostly are done in the uh, in the rural area uh, in uh, Kalimantan and Bay Borneo in East Java uh, West West and East uh, Nusa Tenggara and also in uh, Papua. Mostly of the service we we did in the our dental hospital and East and West Nusa Tenggara uh, uh, we have also here uh, uh, have a medical officer report in our dental hospital and our MEP comprise of our surgeon and acidulkis to orthodontists to speech therapists. A problem uh, when we are working at the remote area is difficult to follow the progress of the cases, except the patient need for further surgery, example after cleft surgery, and further surgery for cleft uh, pellet is uh, needed to be done. Our charity programs are supported by some foundation uh, and from private donation and, for, and from fund, fundraising we have made. The Smile Train Foundation is the one of the very strong organization. And this uh, Smile Train is the world largest cleft focus organization uh, in cleft surgery. We also have a support from the uh, Indonesia Smile Foundation, founded in Surabaya, Indonesia. This foundation also uh, a non-profit cleft non-profit organization uh, and cleft focus uh, organization supporting surgery and other form of essential care related to the cleft treatment uh, we did the surgery uh, the services uh, all over indonesia mostly in the eastern part of uh, indonesia in the picture shown that uh, this is the in West Nusa Tenggara in year uh, 2018. Uh, team care of uh, uh, CLP. We is a surgeon Hello, Prof. Kun. Uh, Professor Kun, I think uh, there's a problem with the connection. Uh, we can we cannot hear you. Yeah, Professor Kun is disconnected. Please wait. Okay. There's a little technical problem, I think. Yes. Okay, once again, for those uh, 
for all the participants who have a question, buat semua peserta yang mempunyai pertanyaan, you can ask whether in Bahasa Indonesia or also in English. You can put your question in a column chat and we will uh, try to answer all the questions. Hopefully that we can answer all the questions uh, at the end of all presentation in the discussion session. Okay, we're still waiting for Prof Kun to be reconnected. Dr. Raksam, Prof Kun is disconnected. Uh, I don't know, maybe if we want to save our time, how about uh, inviting Dr. Takeshi first? Dr. Takeshi is still not joining. Sintaro yes. Sam just told me that the He's still in the operation room. I can but see the operation will end soon. Okay. But I can see him in the in this room right now. Not yet. Not yet. I I think Dr. Takeshi is still uh, on a sterile area and <laughs> cannot uh, do the presentation. Oh okay. Um is it prof yes. Professor Kun already uh, reconnected or not yet? And also Dr. Takeshi. Hello, Dr. Takeshi. Can you hear us? Uh, Dr. I'm sorry. Takeshi. I'm right. Yes, I'm Takeshi. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Mas Agung, both host. Ready, uh, I just uh, I just received a message from Professor Kun that uh, the electricity in his home is there is uh, off you know so Back i off. think oh, so he cannot uh, join in a uh, uh, shortly time yeah so oh, dr Take, maybe dr takeshi can can present uh, your presentation uh, right now maybe yes okay dr takeshi if you're ready we are uh, i'm going to read uh, your short uh, biography and after that you can uh, continue to your presentation okay so uh Thank you Participant, please uh, let me introduce you a brief uh, CV called of Dr. Takeshi, born in August 1966. Um, in 2005, graduated as a uh, oral and facial surgeon from Faculty of Dentistry, Yuzu University, um, and from a National Kyusu Medical Center. From 2005 until, until 2013, he is an assistant professor of the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Kyuzu University Hospital. And from 2013 until now, he is a lecturer and assistant professor of the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Kyuzu University Hospital. He is uh, also a chief doctor uh, in uh, cleft lip and palate clinic. Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Kyusu University Hospital. Award uh, on Doctor of Dental Surgery in 1992 and PhD in 1998. Uh, please, Dr. Takeshi Mitsuyasu, the time is yours. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I'm sorry to wait to attend this meeting. This is my topic is bilateral cleft lip repair, the modified facial technique. And this is a typical bilateral cleft lip patient, uh, short columella, flat ala, wide nostril floor, obtuse uh, of nasal uh, nas angle, a muscle defects in the middle lip, and protruding and twisting premaxilla. In complete bilateral lip, the cutaneous row, cutaneous row of the prolabium is poor quality when compared with that of lateral lip elements. The labial sulcs 
here is shallow the proravium lacking orbicularis or muscle. The lateral lip elements in the bilateral cleft are similar to lateral lip element of a unilateral cleft. Uh, usually we prepare before, uh, before a lip operation uh, from birthday we uh, have we start the taping lip taping and uh, like this sometimes you're using elastic rubber and the band-aid and continuing uh, force this this is the same patients and routinely uh, for complete cases we use numb plate uh, with surgical orthodontics uh, like like this all cases complete cases and uh, in complete cases uh, we use a lip taping with uh, second nasal conformer before lip repair. And uh, we you uh, we now doing uh, lip repair by Fisher's surgical markings, Fisher's methods. Uh, this method is uh, uh, lip repair with an emphasis on the continuity of cutaneous row. Here, the cutaneous roll. Here, the cutaneous roll of the prolabium is of poor quality when compared with that of the, the lateral lip elements. Usually poor. And formation of cupid's bow and the medium tubercle from lateral lip elements. Uh, this is our design. Uh, Prolabium. Uh, this is uh, discarded. And uh, here, uh, filtrum. And this is this with its uh, two point five to three meter for the cupid's bow and cutaneous slow. Cutaneous row. Uh, need, uh, here, there's no cutaneous row in the uh, prolabium. So, uh, this design make this cupid's pose cutaneous row from the lateral elements here. Here goes into here, here goes into here. And this point is a node of point. And in the labial area, uh, this T-shaped uh, incision line, and this, this is uh, carved for the median tubercle. And this line and this line is the uh, nostril closure point here also. And uh, premaxilla pro labial mucosa flap is used to deepen the upper buccal sulcus. This is prolabium on the other side, and you making a flap. Then, after elevating the flap, suture to attach the periosteum or the premaxilla.
then uh, we can to the uh, deep in the south, south gas. And the nasal floor and nostril seal like this. And upward to the uh, outer base is goes to upper and, and nostril uh, after suturing like this. This case is uh, right side is incomplete and left side is complete cases. And uh, using PNAM preparing, in this case, elevating flaps, uh, cutting and elevating flap, uh, submucosal flap. Elevate, then <clears throat> arabesque is now free from the bone and check the shape of the ala. I make a nasal flower. Making laser for a suture by periosteum. Making no seal seal. Then reconstruction of the muscle layer. Obicularis or pass peripheralis. Uh, we sutured with overlaid prolabium muscle, like here, this. Here's uh, pass peripheralis sutured and end to end. And obicularis. Plus marginalis suture like this. This suture is muscle suture and tension suture using. Uh, or zero PDS. Alla base muscle to rubbing muscle, then alla base and this side muscle. During suturing, check the uh, width of the ala. Then plus peripheralis muscle suture.
and pulse marginalis using 5-0 PDS. Then subcutaneous sutures using six zero PDS. And skin suture uh, using eight zero nylon. And the causal layers suture using a five zero bike. Then um, elastic elastic tape and finish. The circle nasal conformers are used to support the, the reconstructed nostrils for around six months after surgery. Now this is a movie case, uh, one, in a, one year after lip repair. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Takeshi for your Great presentation and also for uh, the video of the step-by-step uh, -step of the surgery. Um, so the uh, is Professor Kun already uh, reconnected? Already reconnected. Apakah uh, Mas Agro, Prof. Kun sudah uh, kembali bergabung? Okay. Uh, so Dr. Takeshi, the discussion session will be held. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, together uh, with all after all the presentation is finished uh, so we still have one more presentation from Prof Kun that mm -hmm. hasn't uh, hasn't done till uh, till the end of the presentation because some of technical problem happens so if you don't mind we still wait for a moment mm -hmm. for Prof Kun uh, mohon izin uh, Dr Aksa apakah kita akan tetap uh, menunggu Prof Kun do you discuss okay? I think Prof. Prof. Kuhn already reconnect. Oh, okay. Professor Kuhn. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm very sorry for uh, electrical down. Okay, sip. Uh, uh, please continue, Professor. Yeah, small money. Bisa, I know. Bisa full screen. Yeah, is a full screen. Uh, okay, uh, while waiting, don't forget for those who have a question, please fill the chat column. Bisa dalam bahasa Indonesia maupun dalam bahasa Inggris, we are very welcome. And we hope that we could facilitate all your question. You may slide so. Yeah, I cannot cannot do the slideshow. That's a problem. Yes. Can you can you slide show, yeah? Wait. Uh, may I remote control your okay? Yeah. Please. Okay, thank you. 
Okay. Very sorry for the problem. Yeah. Okay. I would like to to share our uh, experience in charity activity from the Faculty of General Medicine, the Hospital Air University, to serve cleft lip and palate patients in Indonesia. We mostly uh, did the activity in the eastern part of Indonesia, as in East in West Nusa Tenggara, uh, uh, also in uh, South Borneo. Java and Madura Island, also in Papua. This medical advisory as an osteologist to orthodontists uh, and to speech therapists. We work closely to treat the patient comprehensively to set standard for safety quality for our uh, services. We have a problem uh, on working in this charity program is uh, at the remote area, it's very difficult to follow the progress of the cases, except if the patient need further surgery, example, after cleft surgery, and further surgery for cleft palate is needed. Our activity is supported by some foundation, uh, for example, from the Smile Train Foundation, it's very strong, uh, largest cleft focus organization. And we are lucky to have the support from this uh, uh, Smile Train Foundation. Also, from Indonesia, we have the Smile Train Foundation founded in Surabaya and uh, eastern part of Indonesia mostly. Uh, and we can show the picture that we have, we have uh, served the social charity at, in Uh, Dr. Yossi, it seems the Professor Chun have a um, connection problem again. I I think so. Uh, because uh, mohon izin Prof Kun, suaranya. Kayaknya terputus-putus, Prof. Okay, I think we still have uh, some uh, problem. Okay. Uh, Disconnected again. Disconnected again. Okay, okay. so uh, I think uh, if I may, Dr. Aksa, mungkin uh, bila diperbolehkan, sambil menunggu kembali Prof. Kun untuk bergabung bersama kita, can we start uh, to answer the question? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, bye. Terima kasih. Uh, so I have a question uh, in the chat box. This is uh, from Dr. Stephen Tiopan from North Sumatra University, a prosthodontic uh, resident or consultant. Uh, I have no idea. So uh, thank you, Doc, for the presentation. I would like to ask if there any if there is any special surgical treatment for clave pellet patients with the Piero Bang sequence compared with the patient without the sequence. So uh, Dr. Stephen, uh, do you, uh, this uh, question is aimed to which presenter? So uh, as we know that Piero Bang sequence uh, symptoms uh, sometimes with the cleft palate and also with the, uh, the, the, the type of the larynx uh, spaces, also with the uh, mandibula retognati, and also with the uh, bird chest. So maybe, uh, so your question perhaps uh, aim to the presenter who explained about the cleft palate or, or any uh, specific uh, presenter, Dr. Stephen? Uh, no. It it is an open question. I just uh, want to ask the For opinion. Anyone? Uh, 
Uh, okay. Uh, so then, uh, is Dr. Ghazali is still okay? Dr. Ghazali, uh, uh, maybe you have a comment about the question. How about with the patient with the pierobang sequence? Is there any special surgery consideration or treatment? Is there any difference between uh, the patients uh, with or without? Is there Dr. Ghazali still uh, on? Okay, thank you. Uh, really, I not experience about the case. Yeah. Uh, I don't have experience about the Piero Bank case, but uh, I think maybe it's not not uh, the technique, maybe the technique for the cliff repair. Yeah. I think so. Uh, it's not about the technique, but uh, uh, according to the the, the OC uh, says before was is the how the uh, about the uh, not not only about the the condition of the cleft palate maybe but other condition maybe of the uh, caused by the piero bang it's it's I don't have any experience about this case but piero bang thank you. okay. Thank you, Dr. Ghazali. Maybe, Dr. Dewey, do you have any uh, comment, perhaps, about the question? Um, we know that uh, Piero Bang sequence symptoms is uh, most common, the macroglossia, the microgenati mandibula, okay. and then uh, with the tight spaces of the larynx, with the chest bird, uh, a bird, bird chest, I mean, and also, uh, uh, and also bird face. And some of the cases followed with the cleft palate, isolated cleft palate. Yes, um, I think uh, the maybe the the technique of the pelt repair is the same with uh, other cleft patients, but maybe the issue is the airway, the, the airway um, since the very uh, small the very small jaw. airway. So yes. it, perhaps if we uh, do the cleft pellet repair, we could uh, we could uh, impair the airway. Yes, I think, but. So we could we could Dr. start Mitsuyasu with the, we could start maybe with other treatment maybe with the osteodistraction for the mandible first yes or or uh, kind of that before we start to repair the plate I think yes uh, it's craniofacial <laughs> very treatment uh, the complex treatment of the condition is very complex so the, the condition is also a consider special consideration before doing the surgery yes it's, I think Dr. Mitsuyasu has, has, has <laughs> the experience about the Thank you very much, Dr. Dewey. Uh, Dr. Uh, Takeshi. Yes. Uh, do you have any comment? How to, uh, what is the special considerations according to the surgery treatment for the patient with the uh, Piero Bank sequence? Do you have any experience about it? Yes, so microgonasia, usually uh, just um, Roban sequence patient you can wait uh, until two years old. Then some cases catch up the growth, mandible, mandible growth. Then um, the airway, uh, bigger and bigger. Um, sa safety, safely uh, surgery, you can, you can do. So but you they, have to be in hurry. <laughs> In a hurry. I mean, as we know that whenever we want to do a cleft palate repair, there's some mm. ages uh, as a consideration because mm. we want the patient to have uh, a good uh, improvement speech. in speech. Yes. So we cannot do the cleft palate. Uh, uh, we cannot delay the, the, the operation or the repair for the palate, cleft palate. But in uh, mm. Piero Bank seconds, it's okay for us if we postpone the uh, cleft palate surgery, is it? In a hospital, until two years, we can we wait. Oh. We will wait for safe, safe, safety <laughs> management. But um, usually, around two years, not so uh, bad condition they have. So 
but um, treacher corins or nasia syndromes, there, uh, no. Usually, uh, some some cases we uh, we make we uh, we decide the. Uh, So we wait for uh, the 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 growth of the mandible yes. uh, uh, until I mean the the situation is kind of special because uh, the 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 small size of the mandible yes. it affects the size of the airway of the larynx of the patients the patients become the laryngomalacia so. Uh, in some point, maybe it's difficult if we want to just close the cleft palate because it probably will disturb the airway mm. because the cleft palate situation is actually help the Pierre Robin uh, sequence patient to breathe uh, from the from the from the oral. So uh, I think that's become a uh, 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 one of. Um, the consideration before we do the cleft pellet uh, surgery or the cleft pellet closure uh, of the uh, cleft closure of the pellet and the Piero Bang sequence is is that right? Or uh, is there any other syndromes or sequence that uh, you ever uh, have experience in managing the 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 cleft lip or pellet in your institutions in your department? Yes. Uh, severe cases have uh, circled to me. Still, that's they are safe, but uh, marginal cases is uh, usually we wait until two years old. Then I make a paraplasty. So we wait until it's uh, safe for do the surgery. Thank you very much, doctor. Uh, we are moving up to the next question. This is from Dr. Saril Samad in Kalimantan, I think. Uh, thank for the presentation. Do we need to reconstruct the alar and transfers nasalis muscle with alar nasalis suspension suture to septal nasal uh, for unilateral and bilateral cases? Uh, I think uh, this is this question is for uh, Dr. Takesi or for Dr. Dwi. <laughs> Dr. Sari, the question is for uh, is it for uh, uh, is it about the fissure technique or about the Nasar floor reconstruction? Um. I think oh, for both, for both, please. Dr. D, maybe, or Dr. Takesi, please. You see it, please. I think, um, uh, thank you for the question. I think um, many surgeons, uh, they have their uh, own technique with different, uh, different uh, method to reconstruct uh, ELA and about the transfers salis muscle with alarness suspension suture. Um, one surgeon performed this and other surgeon did not, do not perform it. I think it's uh, the surgeon's choice, the surgeon's privilege to uh, choose the treatment. But if we uh, back to uh, the result, if they, he thinks that he needs to make some improvement, I think they, he will uh, make uh, any modification of this technique. So I cannot uh, answer it uh, directly. <laughs> Let's Thank you very much, try. Dr. Dwi. Uh, maybe Dr. Takesi, you have a comment about the question? Yes, usually I put uh, a suture to the ANS periosteum to the hmm pull into the nasalis mm -hmm. and they put, put up the, bring up the ala base. And in, in this, in 
few years, I usually cut and elevated beneath the various steam. Various steam? Uh, various steam. Uh, under the period steam, sub period steam. Uh, you, you easily uh, change the position of the ala base. So I I don't I don't um, think uh, difficulty now um, you uh, suturing the Nazaris. Okay. Thank you very much, doctor. So, uh, okay, this there's an information about. Oh, okay. So, uh, the, uh, apologize from Prof Kuhn because there's the uh, internet problem. So, uh, he cannot uh, continue the presentation for today. But for those who would like to ask for his slide. Uh, he kindly offered to give to the participants who would like to have his slide. So, uh, Prof. Kun, mohon maaf karena uh, ada sedikit kendala, jadi beliau berhalangan untuk bergabung kembali. Tapi untuk partisipan yang mungkin ingin um, slide beliau, ingin membaca slide beliau, beliau bersedia untuk mengirimkannya kepada para partisipan. Boleh nanti di chat ke uh, organizing committee or atau mungkin kepada saya juga bisa. So. We are continue to uh, next question. So this is uh, from uh, Sari SNB. Is it possible to have two stages of lip, lip repair in bilateral cleft? Uh, two stages means you uh, you well, do I, operations but... on the first side, and then after that uh, you maybe do on the other side, maybe with I don't know time range of three months perhaps. Or anything? Is that the questions? Uh, apakah maksudnya seperti itu ya dok ya? Kalau misalnya kita mau dua stages, uh, sebelah kanan dulu mungkin, sebelah, <laughs> nanti dilanjutkan a few months after, sebelah kiri gitu ya. So, yeah. is it possible uh, uh, due to all of our presenter to do two stages of surgery for bilateral cleft lip? The first you correct the uh, right side and then few months after you correct the left side, what do you think? This is an interesting question. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Mitsuyasu. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Around five, five years ago, until, until five years ago, I, I used uh, two stages for uh, two stage deep repair in oh. asymmetric cases. But mm, now I, I don't use two stage methods, only one stage methods. Using Fisher's design, uh, asymmetric cases also good, good result I get. So now I don't select the two stage. Um, yes, uh, that's interesting, Dr. Mitsuyasu. Uh, uh, Professor Nakamura in Kagoshima. Yeah. University. Uh, no, no, he, 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 yeah. he is using a two stages. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. he used uh, two stages. Uh, uh, two stages of bilateral cleft to prepare with Cronin technique. Mm -hmm. But uh, the last thing I know, uh, he back, he changed his uh, technique in using one stage mm -hmm. uh, lip repair in bilateral lip repair with uh, Manchester technique. Mm -hmm. What is actually the, 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 the basic consideration of using two stages? Um, is it the cleft is, uh, I mean, the cleft is too wide or the age of the patient is too uh, young or? He mentioned that the, the result is better if he perform it in two stages. I, mm. Because a bilateral case is a, is a more complex than unilateral. So uh, with first uh, one side with Cronin technique, he can, uh, I think he can make it a more anatomical, uh, more anatomical repair. I don't, I don't uh, really I, understand, I, yes. 
I actually never see <laughs> by myself uh, of uh, the two stages of the bilateral cleft lip, so I cannot uh, really imagine. But uh, I think that's uh, unique as well. <laughs> <laughs> I only saw the his pic, his, uh, picture of the, his patients. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you yes. very much, doctors. Uh, moving on to the next question is uh, how to deal with uh, the swelling after the use of buccal fat pad when filling the lateral defects. This is from the North Sumatra University, uh, Dr. Henry Rusty. So for the uh, surgeons who have a, uh, surgeons who experience have, uh, of using the buccal fat pad, so after we take the buccal fat pad from the lateral side of the, mucus, uh, of the buccal mucose, sometimes after the surgery, there's a swelling. So how to deal with the swelling? Dr. Ghazali. <laughs> Dr. Ghazali mungkin yang menggunakan bakal fat pad ya dok yes. untuk uh, <laughs> untuk pellet repair. <laughs> yes. Untuk nutupnya yeah. itu kita pakai bakal fat pad. So how yeah. to deal with the swelling? Yeah, yeah. Uh, about the swelling, we have in our experience in uh, most of uh, in Sulawesi, uh, I and Dr. Ruslin, Dr. Tajrin, and we. Always use the buccal fat for close the defect, uh, and especially for me, it's uh, in our experience, it's it's uh, easy to uh, uh, in uh, day by day the uh, healing about the lateral set. If you no, know, if defect is not we close with the buccal uh, be, 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 with the fat, it's a uh, uh, long time to the healing process but the defect it's uh, uh, can uh, any uh, debris or any food uh, any can retains in the defect but within I after we remove the uh, operator or surgical operator but if you use the book buckle of it is I in uh, my experience it's, uh, it's then, uh, 70 until uh two weeks is better uh, for the healing processing and the uh, defect it's my experience especially for the young uh age it's very uh, better uh, i know in uh, more uh, literature it's not uh, agree about this technique but i think it's uh, alternatively for uh, uh for healing uh, lateral defect uh, from the uh, pellet case. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe Thank you very much, Dr. Ghazali. Uh, if I may add a little bit about the swelling, uh, I think that you can use the uh, press bandage. You can use the press bandage on the buckle side, uh, but if it's disturbed sometimes because the patient is still in a very young age, it, it, uh, they become very disturbed they with the press bandage on the uh, buckle the side on the cheek the of their cheek. The you can cheek just uh, let it and yeah. uh, give us uh, an amount of uh, anti-inflammation to help them to reduce the uh, swelling. But if you do nothing with the swelling, it's uh, actually, uh, it's fine because it will uh, regress in three to five days. So the, the it's a normal process of the inflammation. Yeah, Dr. Dui, mohon maaf. <laughs> Maybe I expect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, uh, so there's another question. Um, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome, salam. My name is Maudi from University of Indonesia. If I may ask a question for Dr. Dwi, thank you for your clear presentation, doctor. There are several designs available for unilateral cleft lip repair. Uh, and my question is, what are the advantages of the Cronin technique? And perhaps what are the pitfalls and challenges of doing this technique? Thank you so much in advance. Uh, thank you uh, for the question. Um, I think uh, the important uh, step in uh, in Cronin lip repair that we have to determine the uh, correct point uh, for surgical markings, especially like Nordo, to determine the point that we will make that one millimeter above the vermilion border, and then we can make the triangular flap. Uh, actually, uh, 
now I think we we know the uh, Dr. Mitsuyasu's technique that he used the Fisher anatomical subunit technique. I think it's it's more ultimate technique right now with the, uh, with uh, nasal subunit, uh, philtrum subunit, and lip subunit. It's it's yes. more more precise. Precise and <laughs> like uh, the like the expert surgeon I ha I have a. As seen in his uh, presentation, uh, more time tailoring, but less time in uh, working. Just yeah, they take um, much time to make a design, but when you perform the surgery, it's less time. Uh, it's different. Maybe with Millard, is less time tailoring, but much time in uh, modification. Dissecting the muscle yes. yeah, and yeah. then imagining and then, the end results yeah. of the design, kind of. Yes, <laughs> Cut as you go. <laughs> yes, yeah. I think um, uh, for Cronin technique is mm, uh, more simple uh, than the Fisher technique. I think uh, if we uh, determine the point uh, correctly, we can make a better, a good surgery. Thank you, Doctor. Yes. Thank you very much, Doctor Dewey, for the uh, question. I think it's already very uh, a clear answer. And um, we still have a question um, from Sharif, Dr. Zarifa Nova Amiza from uh, Pajajan University. Good morning, Mitsuyasu Sensei. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I would like to ask for a question. Does the modified Fisher technique apply to all cases, cases of bilateral? Or are there certain requirements or considerations to be able to apply this technique? Thank you in advance. Every uh, between the sensei. Yes. yes. Uh, is this feature technique can be applicable to yes. any kind of bilateral uh, bilateral cleft cases, or there is a special consideration to use this technique? Mm, yes, uh, I think so. um, all cases I can I can use these methods. Mm. Yes. So it is applicable for any kind of situation for bilateral cleft lip. Yes, um, and easier than Manchester methods. Mm. Oh, so it's easier. Thank you. Thank you yes. very much. Uh, I myself, I really want to learn how to do the Fisher techniques because uh, personally, I never use it. I use Nordoff uh, for the corrections of bilateral cleft lip, but Fisher looks very uh, delicate, and I really. Uh, I, I really want to uh, uh, practice using it, but um, maybe I will uh, ask for tips and tricks before <laughs> using it to uh, meet CSS Sensei. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Moving up to the next question. There's a uh, from Dr. Rika Hairunisa from the Department of Prostodontics, University of North Sumatra. I wonder how big is the role of prostodontics in helping the successful treatment of the cleft lip plate patients in your area? And is there any advice that you can give for us, uh, prostodontics? Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Short. For those who have a question, we still have uh, maybe about four, four minutes left. Four minutes. Kira kira uh, in your area, in your region, how big is the role of prostodontics in helping us, in uh, coordination with us, or uh, in managing the cleft lip patient or cleft palate patient? Uh, Dr. Mitsu, yes. <laughs> yes. In, in the country, all patients have uh, orthodontic treatments. So, uh, CLP, for CLP patients. So, uh, it's very important for us, uh, for orthodontic doctors' effort. It, uh, it's prosthodontics, uh, Dr. Uh, prosthodontics. Prosthodontics, yes. uh, prosthodontics um, in, in a country, all, all patients have uh, orthodontic treatment, so not so many patients um, treated by the prosthodontic doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, Dr. Yasin, um, what I um, I know about uh, the prostodontics role in the cleft treatment in Kagoshima University. Uh, I have once uh, been there. That uh, after after the palate repair and if the uh, pelopharyngeal competence not very good and the, maybe the patient do not want to have a, a pelopharyngeal surgery. What I know that uh, the prostodontist make a bulk, bulk PLP. Oh, PLP. Oh, PLP. Oh. Yes, yes, Dr. Mitsuyasu. In, in a uh, hospital, we, we yes. make. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. It's a uh, it, uh, prostodontics role in uh, mm -hmm. cleft palate speech treatment. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, uh, in, uh, if I may add a little bit, so in Hassan University and also in Fajan University, uh, yes. prosthodontics also help us in uh, uh, designing and making the nasoafilar molding uh, oh. uh, devices. Mm -hmm. So that's a treatment for the, uh, before we can do the surgery, the primary cleft repair for the patients, because as we know that to do the surgery to the patients with cleft lip, we have a minimal age, which is three months old. So uh, from the day zero to the day uh, of three months old, uh, the patient's still in the conditions of cleft lip and cleft palate. So uh, sometimes we use uh, uh, devices to mold the nasal and also the alveolar and also the premaxilla. And the devices uh, call uh, the pre-prosthetic devices, the nasoalveolar molding devices. And sometimes it's uh, uh, help, uh, the, 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 the devices was uh, uh, help to uh, made by uh, the prosthodontics uh, mm -hmm. fellow, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, this is uh, the last question for the session uh, from Dr. Dr. Uh, Jiri. Thank you for a great presentation. So presenter, in Japan, the parents of the patient came to our hospital during pregnancy because they recognized that their baby have a cleft lip and palate by uh, ECHO examination. Uh, we can get an opportunity to explain how to treat about the cleft and palate before birth. What, when they come to your hospital firstly, do you have any special idea to communicate to their patients? So, uh, it's uh, educational before prenatal education for the uh, baby's condition, the clap of the baby's condition. Please. Dr. Ghazali will answer. So in Japan, uh, because the, the technology already advanced, so there's already uh, sometimes a 4D. Uh, yes, examination yes. for the uh, for the infant inside the womb, so they the parents can know uh, uh, can know very early uh, if their child has uh, have a cleft in lip and palate, and sometimes they go to the surgeon and ask about the what's your opinions of the treatment that we can do as early as possible, kind of that. So, what can we say to the parents? Yeah, this may be uh, after we discuss about the result of the, the ultrasonography 4D, the 3 uh, Usually the, I, I, uh, I know this from uh, Harapan Kita Hospital. Usually the uh, gynecologist uh, will contact uh, oral surgeon uh, to meet the parents and the oral surgeon will uh, explain about uh, the holistic treatment for cleft patients that they, they, uh, the condition it can be managed with uh, our the cleft team. So don't be worried for the patient, for the parents, for the mother. I think it's a communication with the gynecologist and the oral surgeon to the uh, parents. Thank you very much, Dr. Dewey. Uh, Mitsuyasu Sensei, is there anything that you want to add? Uh, in a hospital, 70 to 80% of the cleft patients 
uh, we communicate uh, before uh, we get uh, we communicate appearance before birth, seventy to eighty <laughs> percent. Then we go to the clinic on the birthday. Then check. Then start the treatment. Okay. So, uh, wow, that's a very good information. So, about eighty percent of uh, the the patients already uh, diagnosed with the cleft palate even even before birth. So the patient, the, the parents of the patient already know. So if my baby is uh, born, what can I do to to help the feeding? What can I do to prepare the uh, baby for the first surgery? Kind of that maybe. <laughs> That's a very good information. I I hope that we can have uh, that kind of system in Indonesia. It will help us a lot. I think. <laughs> Yes, well, thank you very much for all the presenters. It's been a very great day and with a very huge knowledge uh, enhancement uh, in cleft and palate uh, repair uh, techniques and surgeries. And I'm very grateful to be part of uh, this uh, uh, webinar. And thank you very much for your uh, sharing, for your uh, kind uh, intention of sharing your knowledge and experience in this area to uh, professor uh, to uh, dr uh, professor kun uh, dr dwi dr gazali mitsu yasu sensei arigato gozaimasu <laughs> terima kasih banyak uh, semoga bisa berjumpa kembali dan kesempatan kepada all participants to all participants that attend this webinar thank you very much uh, to all the committee as well uh, from the uh, uh, engineer chief chief engineer uh, pak tunggul thank you very much uh, I may close this session by wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, everyone. Stay healthy, stay uh, safe during this pandemic season. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Terima kasih, Pak Tunggu. Everybody, please fill the questionnaire. Please fill the Tinda Rosan, you may stop the YouTube. Yes, I just stopped it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congrats. Thank you, Aksu Sensei and Tungo from Komatsu. Thank you, Komatsu san. Thank you, Komatsu san. Thank you too. Thank you. Yeah, we really appreciate your uh, um, contribution to our QP. Mas Eko, stop YouTube. Sama dia. Mas Eko, stop YouTube. Enggak ada. Enggak ada bohong lampunya. Enggak ada bohong lampunya. Please everyone, don't forget to fill the questionnaire that already sent in the chat box. Please, everyone, fill the questionnaire that already signed in the chat box. Thank you. So, uh, you may end meeting.